Well, are you hungry and do you know good food? In this week's What's on Your Plate feature, Keisha Bethel takes us behind the doors of a Bahamian eatery which has managed to stay operational for more than 50 years. For generations, the show has been a popular breakfast stop for many Bahamian families, serving up dishes like boiled fish, stew conch, stew fish, chicken sauce, and sheep tongue sauce. Uh, we've been around now for about close to 60 years, and if I have anything to do with it, we'll be around for another 60. When Bobby Lightburn took over the eatery two years ago, it ushered in a new era. New owner, new name, new menu. We have uh -huh. uh, we also doing some nice sexy lunch. We have lunch um, now. Of course. And then in the very near future we'll be opening for dinner. We put our Bahamian twist in of giving you a meatball, we give you a fish ball. And we also have some nice sexy juicy cheeseburgers. Uh-huh. And some chicken wings. On the lunch menu, Bobby told me that the hottest sellers were the wings. And that the bistro burger was definitely something that I had to try. Juicy 8-ounce beef patties were sprinkled with fairy dust seasoning and placed on the grill along with two buns. While the burgers were cooking, we prepared some onion rings to use as a topping and some homemade wedges for the side. After all, what's a burger without fries? Next, we massaged another secret blend of herbs and spices into chicken wings before dropping them into the fryer. We completed our burger by adding the condiments, romaine lettuce, the beef patty, onion rings, mozzarella and pepper jack cheese, and topped it off with a bun, holding it together with a big knife. There you have it, Keisha. Our bistro cheeseburger mm -hmm. and our mango rattler wings along with our homemade fries. And thank you for introducing me to a new lunch option. You're welcome. So, from the show Bistro, I'm Keisha Bethel for Zenless Network News. And, and this, this is, is what's on my plate. plate.